got a cup final match lined up for today's episode and a league match. Let's get into it. Today's episode, we're going up against Salt Lake and Minnesota in the Lamar Hunt Open Cup final. I'm actually wearing the Minnesota United FC shirt. I'm not pulling for him. I literally bought this shirt yesterday in Minnesota. Just kind of happened. So get over it. We're looking pretty good. We last left off against New England. Our evolution only played one game. Timbers beat them three to one. Uh, today's episode, we got, like I said, Salt Lake and Minnesota. Maybe got one more episode, two more episodes before the season is over and the playoffs start. Thinking one more, honestly, I'm thinking about coming back for the Inter Miami and New England Revolution around this time period because the playoffs will be a decent little adventure. We will skip the first round probably if we continue on our winning ways. I don't think I've picked a team though. Kind of like the last episode. We did start, uh, what's his name, the new guy? New guy, where are you? We started Saw in the last match and he got a goal. He was the one goal person led us to a victory but today anguelo is going to be back in the lineup i don't like this lineup right here it's kind of the basic lineup that i usually put out there uh, we want to put pacheco in there take out reese so in goal we got muse back four of ruan santos jensen and inez midfield of nyman and wagner on the right hand side we got no wait 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 Robinho, get out of the lineup. Warren's in the lineup. McAtee in the middle. Jose on the left-hand side. Anguillo up top. Heard a little birdie bird outside. I'm not sure where they're sitting at in the standings. Uh, Salt Lake, no idea. If they're good, they're bad. They're in the Western Conference, so don't really care. But we got a cup final today, and I am excited about it. We win it, we're going to qualify for the Champions League, the CONCACAF Champions League. That would be a very nice for next year, building forward. Starting off with, uh, I hope that didn't like, just like, wasn't too bad. Uh, starting off with a highlight for us, Warren's cut it inside, gets the ball taken away from him. Salt Lake has it now. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-uh. Uh-uh. Muse with a nice save. Muse is, turn Muse is a pretty good goalkeeper. I'm glad we signed him last year. He's an American, so don't have to worry about having another international player. We have an American starting every week in that spot. Uh, we got a little bit of attack here. Ruan's cutting it inside. He's looking for somebody. Can't find him. Don't know who it was. Inez is there to drop it back down, move it forward to Jose. Jose's kind of been like really quiet this year. Warren, 13th goal of the season, assist by Jose. Joe Warren, the man, needs to work on his celebrations a little bit after the jump and jump. You know, I would prefer a little bit of the shock arrow celebration. That's that's my favorite. The roly poly is a close second. Lovely little play. Jose with the nice pass. Warren with a good finish. One nil. Yep, doing pretty good on the recordings, though. I think we're up to, I think this is Friday's episode of The Journeyman. The 20, what, the 20th something. 26th, Friday the 26th episode. So, looking pretty good uh, on schedule to not have to change the schedule the week that we go home. What I plan on actually trying to do is get that week done that we're going to be home. Like when my, I say home, like at my parents' house. And then the Monday of the day of the week that we're going to actually be in at our house. That way we can kind of settle in and I can get the computer set back up there for two weeks. A lot of moving though. Had an opportunity there that we did not convert. Warren's trying to chase us down. He gets to it. Good hustle by the by the man. He's got Ruan on the right hand side if he wants to move it over to him. He does. Ruan looks to work it in the box and the highlight ended. Didn't see what happened. We are kind of pulling away from the New York Red Bulls. 
looking good to be winning the league, looking to be winning the conference to have that bye for the uh, playoffs. It looks like Anguilla has picked a little bit of a tight calf. Should be able to play through it. We'll probably take him off at halftime. I don't really want to risk it. He's uh, obviously a very important part of our team. Salt Lake has given us a little bit of trouble, though, I've noticed over on the highlights. It seems like they they can take the possession away from us. They had that one really good opportunity that Muse stopped. It should, I think, be one-to-one -one right now, but that save he had really helped us out. Looks like we got an attack going here. Warren's cutting it inside. Anguilla was hanging back. McAtee was actually leading that. Yeah, we'll give uh, the halftime to Sala. That way y'all can see him play a little bit. He actually had a really poor performance in the last match, except for the goal. Like, I think he was putting out a 6.1 until he got the goal. Then he skyrocketed. We was really excited about that. Playing a little back and forth right now. Got an opportunity. Warren's trying to chase it down. I don't think it was a good pass by Anguello. He kind of led him a little bit. There's a foul on the play. Get, get up, dude. You was the one that done the fouling. Act like you broke your leg. What is the verdict going to be? There we go. Who's taking them? Anguello's taking it? I think we can believe that. Yeah, get your butt off the side. Don't do crap like that. He gets it and it's 2-0. We had all the faith in the world for Anguello. It was his 22nd goal of the season. Another great cam campaign for him. I'm really surprised no clubs have came after him. We've had one he had in the past, like early this season, I think, for $8 million for him. And I, I turned it down at the time. I should have. I, but see, the crazy thing is, is like the way the transfers work in the MLS. It's, like it's beneficial, but like if you're going to go spend $8 million on a player, you're going to have to use him as a DPI. And at that time, I really wasn't wanting to do that. Oop, we forgot to do something. Anguilla, you had a great game, but Saw is coming on for you. We don't want you to get hurt anymore. Uh, advance forward, you. Make a difference. Do a football. Nobody on the squad has looked particularly bad. Wagner with the lowest overall rating of 6.7 right now. May give him a break after this as the next substitution. Or even McAtee. I don't know yet. I hadn't decided. See who we have on the bench. Pacheco, you're coming in for Wagner. Don't even have to change the roll up for you. Probably should have done Nyman. Did Nyman pick up an injury or something? So Nyman will be the next substitute. Sandler will come on for him. Easy little change there. Jose comes down with this. He's got a Nez. I thought he would have played it into a Nez. Okay, a Nez gets it now. Saw and Warren in the box right now. Other people getting in there. Jose gets in there. A Nez back with it. Has an opportunity to take the shot. He doesn't. Loses out on the ball. And now we have a little bit of a counterattack by Real Salt Lake. <clears throat> Need to close this down. Jensen's trying to get to it. He kind of pushes the guy a little bit. Santos clears it. I like continues though. We don't like a diss. Uh uh. Uh uh. Hmm. Uh uh. Two to one. You seen that coming? Okay, it's time to make that change. We're taking out Nyman for Sandler. Go ahead and do that. See if we come away with a win. We've dominated this game. 22 shots to their 8. 2.91 HG to their 9 point, or 0.98. That's a way to win a match right there. Two minutes left. Outstretched arm. A good win. Well done. And now it is time to get to the trophy match. The cup final. Lamar Hunt cup final. You get it. It is time for the Lamar Hunt final. We've got a squad here. Looking pretty good. It does have a little bit of rotation, but not a lot. 
Muses in goal, back four of Ruan, Sandler, Jensen, and Whittle. Midfield is Nyman and Pacheco. On the right hand side, we got Warren. In the middle, we got McAtee. Left hand side, we got Jose. Up top, we got Anguello. Hopefully, we'll win this match. Even though I am representing the Minnesota United FC, not actually a fan of the club. Uh, so, hopefully, I won't jinx ourselves. We're favorites out there, though. Favorites for a reason. Let's do this. Yep. Yep. Uh huh. Yep. Excited to be here. Let's do this thing. You know, we've done the team meeting, and it's like, hey, you should play up the importance of this match. Played it up. Everybody's happy, and the Sandler's like, oh, I, don't know. I think you're asking a little too much. I always hate it when you have one player that doesn't agree with the team speech. It's like, dude, I'll ship you out. I really don't care. <laughs> The only reason you're in the squad is because you're American. Let's let's be real. It's not that you're a talent. Nyman brings it down here. Ruan gets it. Back to Sandler. Over to Jensen. Jensen's looking to move it forward really far to Anguello. Anguello brings it down. Has an opportunity here. Gets it in. 23rd goal of the season. Assist by Jensen. Puts us up 1-0 in the first minute. The things you love to see is that right there. Yeah, that we got the email about Jensen. Should he be? Is he? Uh, what is the? How do they refer? Is he deserving of an international call-up? Absolutely, Jensen is. Jensen's been a pretty cool player that we signed from Copenhagen when we was back at SuperSport United, and then we signed him when we came here. It's been pretty cool to follow his journey. I think he's about at the right level too of of talent that he should be playing against. He can make a step up to another league somewhere too, though, I believe. Sandler does a nice job to push that ball back forward. Warren takes a first touch shot. Can't get it in. It's cleared. A little bit of a crazy highlight right there. That was a pretty play by Warren. I thought he was going to get it down and get it in. I think there was somebody's name on the uh, Minnesota team that had a really interesting name. I, I think. I might have to look at it again. Anthony. It, it, it went away too quick. If it's, if it's a funny name, I might have to drop by on that player because it did look kind of interesting. Jose here with the ball. Looking to cut it in. Gets it over to Anguello. Had a shot. Didn't do it at the end. Did, did, did. I, dang it, I was trying to get to the mouse to pause it so I could see the guy's name. We will eventually figure out the guy's name. Warren's chasing this down, trying to stop it. Can't. Pac Pacheco's there. Whittle with the ball. I want to give Whittle a little bit of time to see if he can play on that left-hand side for when the time comes that Ruan's gone. Like, I want to see if Whittle can play there good enough to be the permanent backup to Inez because the plan is Inez is going to start left back next year and Whittles is going to be his backup but after Ruan leaves I want to move Inez to the right hand side and have somebody else play on the left hand side side so if Whittle could do that that'd be amazing okay paused Tony Fontana <laughs> I, love, I love this guy old Tony not a bad little player for this league I mean, like, I, 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 yeah, I wouldn't use you. I like your name, though, old Tony Fontana. Nobody's looking particularly well out there. Uh, we did have the one lone score. But other than that, it's been kind of a boring game. Jensen up to Whittle. Whittle gets it to Anguello. It's a little, little dink to get it in on his 24th goal of the season. Whittle with an assist. Been impressed with Whittle in this match. I think I think we can move on from Derek Williams. I've almost I'm almost cert, cert, certain of that. I've uh, debated it for a while now, and I think I think that's what we're going to do. And I think we're going to go ahead and move on from Robinho as well. Uh, Benji Peters has showed enough to me that he can take Robinho's role as a backup left wing. If that's all, I mean he's 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 still got potential to move forward even more than that. But 
for the next year if Benji Peters can take that role. And I think he can. He's looked good in the games that we've played him in. So a little bit of a new look squad next year. Having to swap some players out. And we'll figure out the future of Anguello and Santos with the interest that they're attracting right now. Hey, that's the guy that played for us at uh, Supersport for like half a season. Mokoina. I just realized that he was playing against us. I wonder how his career has went since he's been moved over to Minnesota. There is another player in the MLS that we had at Supersport. Uh, Jop has came over to Columbus Crew. They got a big time bargain of a deal for him. He was one of the players that I had considered signing, but due to international slots, I couldn't do it. But... We'll take a look at him next time we play the Columbus Crew. Meanwhile, our man, Joe Warren, gets a goal. 3-0 now, going into halftime. We're dominating this thing. We're going to be holding up a trophy at the end of it. And somehow we're still only two-and-a-half-star uh, reputation coach. We are studying for one of our licenses. I can't remember which one. To be fair, it all kind of runs together. I just always ask for them when I have an opening. I had one... Uh, one of the saves that I've done off screen, I kind of done like a mini journeyman this year before the winter break came out. Like it was kind of like a private mini journeyman and it was uh, around Europe. And I had like three clubs in a row that every time I went to get a coaching badge, it was just like a fight to get one. And I would, I would just leave the club. <laughs> I just got tired of them and it took forever for me to actually start getting a, a lot of coaching bags bagged up. So being at a club like Orlando where we're getting coaching badges, you know, we've got a lot of money in the bank. It's nice. Joe Warren with a brace in the 50th minute, 15th goal of the season for him. Anguello with the assist. But yeah, it's, it's, it's very nice on these journeymans that you find a club that has a little bit of money to support your coaching courses. So it's been nice, you know, dating back to Free State because we had money at Free State. Ruan's not looked the best out there. He's gonna make where he's gonna be coming out at the next substitution as well. I think Ruan's a, a valuable player on this team. He's getting a little tired though. Tired and not playing well needs a little bit of a break. I think it wouldn't hurt to play somebody else in his position in this match. If I would have thought about it, I probably would have started Anderson over him just to get Anderson some game time, get Ruan off the pitch. Nyman here with the ball. Gets it up. I thought he had passed it over to Warren, but he didn't. He takes a shot. Can't find the back of the net. Yeah, I'm thinking Ruan and McAtee is going to be the next two guys that come out. We're going to go ahead and do that. Ruan. I'm going to make him that right-hand side. That sucks. I guess, I guess Williams, you're going to come in and play there. I'll just put, I mean, you play it on the left-hand side. Just use your other foot. Uh, who else do we want to do? We said, did we say Nyman? I think we said Nyman, didn't we? No, we said uh, McAtee. McAtee's coming off. Olivia's going to come in for him. Williams with a long throw. Can't find anybody. Sandler brings it down. Gets it over to Jose. It's taken away from him, but he maintains possession of it. Bangs it in, looking for Anguello. Anguello turns, he shoots, he misses. Bounces off. Warren gets a hat trick. 16th goal of the season for him. Olivia with the assist. Joe Warren doing Joe Warren things out there. He is the man, the myth, the legend. He is our favorite, Joe Warren. 5 nil in the 73rd minute. I don't I mean, like. I, I really don't know why Joe Warren is my favorite player. You know, there's been some uh, players that I've had since I started playing FM, and like right now, there's only one other player that I like better than him, and it was last year when I was at Derby uh, doing a private save. His name was uh, Abdullah Al Sharon. He was a striker. He wasn't that great of a striker, but he banged in goals. Like his star rating was like three and a half star. He never really got all the way up to five stars, but he was a, a guy that I bought as a 17-year-old, came into the club. He was an Englishman, um, 
and he he dominated in the Premier League. He was it's his ratings just never caught up to what he'd done on the pitch and his attributes is didn't either. His it's one of those things like I think he had forty something goals in a season. I wish I could go back to that save and look at it, but uh his finishing was only like nine. He had amazing flair. It, but, but Joe Warren is that kind of player to me. Like I just, I, I like him. It's nothing that he's great at. It's just he's fun to beat, fun to play with, fun to root for. Five nil win in the cup. See that trophy? Hold it up. Hold it up. To it turn into a plate. You want to turn into a plate like it usually does? They do a little dance. Doesn't turn into a plate. Fireworks go off. The confetti's about to come down. It's raining purple pieces of paper onto the pitch. Everybody's excited. The fans there. Are, Jumping out of their seats. They're just clapping slowly here. Doing that little motion. We're going to get a little cartwheel from the Muse. Dominating performance, guys. That is the way to finish out the cup. Congratulations. Happy with the performance. Hey, did you enjoy that video? If you did, leave a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below. I don't know what about. Just leave a comment. Something we can talk about. Anyways, guys, appreciate y'all watching.